Well, good morning and thanks for joining us on our flight today. We decided to get up early and create our own fly-in breakfast. Now, we originally were looking at airports with restaurants, but all of the restaurants are closed. So we are creating our own fly-in breakfast. Each one of us, there's gonna be four of us total, packed our own breakfast. And we are headed up north to Escota County, which is about an hour flight north. And we're gonna set up a, some chairs and a table on the ramp, socialize and enjoy our own food. Here is our flight plan for today. We're departing Price's Airport, just south of Flint, Michigan, flying 113 miles almost directly north to Escota County, which is just a community of less than 9,000 people located in the Huron National Forest area. So it is a beautiful area. They have a nice restaurant right off the end of the runway, which is within walking distance. However, that restaurant is closed, so we are bringing our own breakfast and taking over the ramp this morning. The first to depart this morning was Reed in his 1948 Aranka sedan. Next up for departure was Gordon in his Cherokee 6. I was the third one to depart in my Mooney, and Brian's going to depart after us in his glass air, but he's gonna stop and get fuel before he meets us up there. What an awesome morning for flying though. Perfectly clear skies, very light winds. You can see the beautiful scenery here. Lots of trees in this part of Michigan. And of course, I always have to have fun and do some steep turns and bring the airplane out a little bit. It was kind of funny on the way up, all of us were talking to Minneapolis Center for Traffic Advisories and the controller asked me if there's a fly-in or a pancake breakfast going on up at Escota County because there were four airplanes heading up there that morning. I said, nope, just a bunch of us from the air park looking for something exciting to do this morning. One of the things I've been working on in the Mooney is trying to make my traffic patterns as small as possible. On this pattern, I made it a little bit too small and I wound up coming in a little too high and a little too fast and floated for a bit down the runway. Well, we made it. There's Gordon's Cherokee 6 right there. I'm going to park next to him. What was kind of amazing is that Brian and his glass air left probably about 10 minutes after we did. He stopped in Saginaw, I think it was, to get fuel. And he arrived literally just minutes after me. That just tells you how fast that little glass air really is. And even though he departed first, only about five minutes after I landed, Reed showed up, which kind of shows you that on these short flights, the speed of the airplane doesn't really make too much of a difference. I mean, the Mooney's probably a 140 knot airplane and 
his uh, Aronka, is, I think he said, is around 100. So even though it's a big difference in speed with these short flights, it only adds up to a few minutes difference in arrival time. Well, Gordon said it's time to get the party started, so we're going to unload a couple chairs, a table, bring out our coolers of food, and just enjoy some social time and some uh, homemade breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole point of this trip was just to get together with some other pilots and get our airplanes out and socialize on the ramp and have a little bit of fun. The airport manager was a real nice guy, he came out to meet us. I guess he kind of wondered what was going on all of a sudden with all these little airplanes descending on his airport. But it was just a good time of sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the beautiful summer day and just talking to some friends about airplanes and aviation. We need to do this a lot more often. Here's all the airplanes that were here, Gordon's Cherokee 6, the Mooney, the Glass Air, and Reed's Aronka. Well, all good things come to an end. Gordon was the first to leave. He taxied out and departed. After uh, he left, Reed went out. After Reed, it was my time, my turn to leave. And the last step to any flying adventure is cleaning the bugs off the airplane so that the airplane is nice and clean and ready for the next fun adventure. <laughs>